Petals for Armor, <laughs> the title comes from a lyric in Simmer, in the bridge, which sort of happened in real time as I was recording the song. I was recording the, the vocals and we didn't have a bridge vocal yet. And I, I, I said, you know, give me a minute. I'm just going to sort of try to scratch something down and maybe we'll just sing something and something cool will come out. It's also not something I do a lot when we're recording Paramore records. Um, I wrote Wrap Yourself in Petals for Armor and it felt like it came from somewhere else. Like it didn't really come from me. I wasn't, I didn't mean to write it. It just kind of happened and it felt so right. It wasn't deliberate. None of it was deliberate. In fact, I'm, I'm still sort of shocked that, uh, that, a, that a full album came out. Um, I was just kind of, it was very necessary and it felt like um, I was in therapy. I was kind of, I was home and I, I felt like I was going a bit stir crazy and I started to write. But for me, we really sort of let shit come out like it wanted to and um, I actually really thought this is just going to be for me and then maybe I'll just throw something up on you know I'll, I'll post it somewhere. And like these songs might never come out. Well I mean I just didn't know and especially especially like f about January February when only one or two songs had been written I just kind of was happy with that. It was leave it alone and simmer and I was like this is great. This is so cool. I'm so proud of this. I want people to hear it. Um and it was very cathartic. It was just like such a release, you know. Um, once some of the lyrics were happening, um, I, I just wanted to try and form something around them versus top lining, which a lot of times with Paramore, like Taylor just writes uh, insane music and he sort of sends it to me and I'm like, how do I've got to figure out how to fit into this because it's brilliant. I love, I like told you so, I'll never forget writing to told you so, I was terrified because I loved it so much. I was like, this is like some sort of dark vampire weekend, crazy chaos. I'm not gonna work Paramore songs in because it's that's very sacred to me and I that belongs at a Paramore show, you know? Um, and there will be more Paramore shows. Like we we already- Confirmed. Yes, confirmed. We're speaking to like three people here. There's a here. camera somewhere. <laughs> confirmed. Yes, all right, we got cheers. So I I um, was talking to the guys about this just the other day because because we're finishing mixing the record right now in a space in LA and Zach rents one room and me and Taylor are in the other space doing this project, right? So we, Zach came in, we all all share the bathroom he's like we just all shit in the same toilet all day long every day like love that and he's just like he's like man i see you guys more in la than i did back home in nashville i was like i know we need to do this more this is ridiculous and we were talking about you know i think there's already moments where we find ourselves fantasizing about the next paramore project and we kind of have to stop ourselves because we're everyone's so busy working on shit right now right you know that that i i don't know i guess i feel very safe i i feel like i don't really need to yeah, I don't I don't need to bring Paramore into this and be like, hey, remember me? I'm in Paramore because like in about five minutes, I'm going to be back with Paramore. The love of my life is Paramore. And those are my best friends, too. Right. Which is why they're on the record. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like my creative life um, began because I met them and I I I wouldn't really know what to do if I did something entirely without them because I. I don't think there's a bigger fan on this earth than me of them, you know, right. even what they do outside of the band, like Zach's half noise project and all the things he's producing and the things Taylor produces and the music he creates, like there's not a bigger fan. So 